A Jackson County High School student who police say made threats of violence was arrested peacefully thanks to a school resource officer and his relationship with students. It's our top story at 6. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Thompson. And I'm Sherry Jones. Back in December, a 20-year-old student was expelled from Napoleon Community Schools after a domestic dispute. Now, police say he was upset that he couldn't attend the graduation ceremony, so he made threats to the school and staff. That triggered an investigation, and the student was arrested without incident. Daryl Horn is here for you tonight with more details on how this all unfolded. Daryl Sherry Lauren, 20-year-old Nathan Mann is in the Jackson County Jail after making threats to the school through phone calls and on social media. Police say it started after Mann was expelled from school last December and just recently learned he wouldn't be able to participate in the Alternative High School's graduation ceremony. He was still allowed to do school virtually, um, which would allow him to graduate. Um, and then as it got closer, he began to be concerned that he wasn't going to be allowed to walk graduation and take pay place in, in those things. After that, police say student school resource officer Mark Hawtshire and a principal at Ackerson Lake School began receiving threats. He basically was going to shoot up the faculty uh, if he was not allowed to walk and allowed to graduate. He even admitted once he'd been arrested at the jail and interviewed that uh, he told uh, Sergeant Hotshire that he was going to stab him in the neck or in the back and that he was going to shoot uh, the principals at Canaan. This triggered an investigation after 20-year-old Nathan Mann was kicked out of Napoleon Community Schools back in December following a domestic dispute with his girlfriend that happened on the school grounds. And with enough evidence from staff and students, a search warrant was issued for his home. We recovered a, a shotgun, we recovered several knives, uh, a sword. But officers found more than weapons. There were a lot of uh, uh, very hateful uh, type uh, books. Uh, ideologies, a uh, SWAT sticker on the, uh, hanging in his room, a flag, and some other information indicating that he, he is, I wouldn't say, pretty close to a white supremacist, I would say. Chief Pittman says because school resource officer Sergeant Mark Hodshire has a great rapport with students, he was able to gather a lot of evidence others may not have found. Having such intimate knowledge of all of the people involved because he'd been dealing with him obviously since February and even before that, hard to say how many lives were saved by his actions. Police arrested man on Friday. He faces charges including threats of terrorism, threats to commit an act of violence against a school, and a domestic violence charge that was issued back in February involving his girlfriend. Back to you. Thank you for that, Derek.